So what we have here is a GT Pro Performer from 1987. This thing is beautiful. Check this thing out. Wow, what an honor for them to trust this, especially in my hand. I wouldn't trust myself with this. I don't know why he would. So, look at this thing. Let's look at the wheels, for example. These are the original OGK mags. GT before, made especially for GT. Look at how new this is. To be honest with you guys, when he brought it to me, I thought this was brand new. And I have, I have not seen a set of these brand new since I was a kid. He's like, no, this is not new. So, he just spent a lot of time scrubbing this thing down. Props to my man. And look what he's got. Look at these tires, guys. Odyssey Frequency G. Look, guys. I've seen a lot of stuff here. You guys know I've talked I've talked a lot about seeing this. That. I personally have not seen this tire ever. I didn't even know Odyssey made white ones. Somehow, this gentleman has found a set of white ones. Wow. Okay, moving along. It's got an original GT mallet stem. And he didn't, he didn't go ahead and strip it down and restore it because it's all original. And plus, he wants to get the bike done. So I think somewhere down the line, he's going to redo this. Original GT Pro Performer, the matching bars. The frame and the day glow orange. You guys notice we have to wrap these grips up even though they're getting a little bit still dirty. But we have to wrap this thing up because look at my hand, it's gonna get real dirty. The, the Odyssey brakes, the original Odyssey brakes that come on a, again, the, the original finish, because he did not want to take it apart, repaint it and lose that Odyssey logo right there. Seat clamp, Odyssey seat clamp. Now, I'm not sure if this is original. It looks pretty new, looks pretty dialed. I wanna say since since this gentleman had all these things that are original, I would say this is original is not fake. You have uh, the GT cookie cutter. This has not been repainted because you can tell all the logos and all that is still showing. If it's been re-powder coated, repainted, these would not be showing. I don't know if you guys know this, but back in the days when a lot of these frames were made, they were never powder coated. It was all paint. So the only way you can get these logos to pop up is if it's paint. Because if they powder coated, powder coated being thick, it would have covered all that. So that's how you guys can tell if something's original or not. Original, no powder coat. Like for example, this, this paint job right here, or this coating, it's powder coat. It's clean, it's beautiful. But if you notice right here how the GT word is not well defined, that's because it's been powder coated. So a lot of people, they, they don't know that. They think that it's always been powder coat. No, it's paint. If this thing was painted, it would be more defined. No, again, matching Odyssey rear, bra rear brakes. Now, the seat post is supposed to be a little bit more laid back, but it was cracked. So we felt like it was best to just cut and salvage whatever we had off. It is GT stamped. That's why, that's why he chose to keep it but he didn't want to get rid of the seat post and get rid of that, but you can hardly see it because the powder coat kind of covered it. Original GT seat in great condition, no cracks. That tells me that the seat hasn't been sitting in the sun. Because sometimes people have these bikes, they leave it on the side of the house and in the backyard, they get sunbaked or cracked. Personally, I've never did the seat post like this, but I like it, I like it comment you guys because some of it the seat's supposed to lay back a little bit more but i kind of like this little layback it's kind of sweet again another part i missed i keep jumping back and forth because the bike is so attractive these you could tell from these being original these bolts these little little pyramid whatever the terminology is but some of them are replaced with little dome ones or even flat one that doesn't have a cap these are all original these are all the little details the refinish, not nah, not even refinish. A lot of a lot of like manpower to go in and scrub these wheels down. And the rare frequency G in white. 
Come on, guys. Could just give me a comment. Have anybody ever seen a used set this clean? I haven't. Props to him. But we we are not finished with it yet because we're waiting to get white gyro cables on. So we're gonna route it all the gyro in here. We're gonna get the cable going through the the fork and up here and in the pedals still trying to find some original pedals so if anybody's got some of that hit me up and i'll i'll connect you to the customer but what do you guys think was this done right what would you guys have done different comment you guys like it you guys don't like it give a like give a dislike or go pound sand get, get lost Dude, it's so bright on camera.